Hi there, Logan here from VacPin.com, and today we're going to be doing troubleshooting and maintenance on the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Vacuum. These directions are the same whether you have the Animal Plus Allergy version or just the Animal version. So, let's start with maintenance because it's very easy. So, this machine does not have any washable filters because of the Dyson Kinetic Science, which means the only maintenance you have to do is after every use, take off the bin, empty the bin, and put it right back on. After every five to ten uses of the vacuum, or more if you have pets with long hair or people with long hair in your house, tilt the vacuum on its back and remove the sole plate, which you can do with these red tabs down here. Click out on this side, click out on this side, and remove, pivots out. Take a knife, cut along this beater bar here, and remove all that excess hair. When you're ready to put the sole plate back on, the top clicks in, and then these blue little red clips secure it right back in. That's all you have to do for maintenance on this machine. Very easy. So let's start with troubleshooting now. For troubleshooting, if your vacuum's having issue picking things up, first make sure that you have cut all the hair off the beater bar because that's a common problem with a lot of machines. Now, if the machine's not um, agitating properly, do make sure that the beater bar is turned on which is this gray button right here. This can save you a lot of time, and a lot of people don't realize that you can turn it on and off. Now, if you're still having trouble picking stuff up off the floor, tilt the machine on its back again, take this red clip right here, and pull it off. Then, pull the head right here, straight up, and look inside the little hole here, and inside the suction path here to make sure there's nothing clogged. If there's something clogged, pull it out, and then reattach the head by lining up the power connector and the little clip. And you'll know you've got it right if you can't twist it, and then reattaching the red clip. It may take you a time or two, and it is friction fit. If you can pull up on the head and it doesn't come off, you did a great job. Now, turn around to the back of the machine and pull this red tab straight out. It may take a little wiggling because it's in here tight and it's sealed. And look inside this suction hose to see if there's anything stuck. If there's something stuck in here, pull it out. It may be helpful to remove the front of the machine and use something like a chopstick to push straight through. When you're done with that, reattach. And you may need to wiggle that a bit, get it right in there. Then, if you're still having trouble picking something up and the hose works fine, at this point you need to call Dyson. The number is right on the front of your machine, and if you've removed the sticker, the number is 1 866 277 4649. If you're still having trouble and the hose does not work, then you can continue with a few more troubleshooting steps. First take the bin off, press the power button, and check for suction here. If you can feel suction here, then there's probably an issue somewhere between the bin and the hose, which we'll now check. First, if you can't feel suction there, then you need to call Dyson because there's an issue somewhere in the motor unit. They should be able to sort you out very quickly. If you're still having trouble, and you just checked and there's suction here, make sure that there's nothing caught in this assembly right here where the air enters the bin. Also, over a garbage can, open up the bottom of the bin and make sure there's nothing caught in this black seal here. If there's something caught in the seal or in any of these rings, then you need to pull that out and try again. That should fix your problem. Also, while you're right here, there's a little door. If you press the clear tab, it comes right up and you can check inside here, inside here, and inside here to see if there are any blockages. A lot of times, pet hair can get stuck in these little bends, and Dyson's made it very easy to clean those out. If none of those have issues, put the bin back on. Or actually, if you're still having issues with the hose, but not with the floor, this is another place to check. First, spin the vacuum around, remove 
the wand, press the red button to pull the wand out, and look through it to make sure that there's nothing stuck in the wand. Then, when you have your hose and it's limp, press the red tab here, and the hose will pull straight out of the wand. Look through it and make sure there's nothing stopped. Sometimes if stuff gets stopped here, people never think that this is removable and they never check. So if there's something stuck here, try to use something like a broom handle to push through the clog. If all of these have not solved your issue, you need to give the Dyson a call. They can typically sort out problems very quickly and they're great about customer service. If you need to reassemble your vacuum from this point, it's very simple. Make sure the red tab points towards the front of the machine. Push it until you hear it click. Put the hose upright, take the wand with the notch face down, and while pushing this red button, slide it in, and then reattach the wand to the handle, close, and reattach the bin. This should have solved most of your Dyson problems and shown you how to do maintenance. This has been Logan here for Backbin.com. Thanks for watching.